This is Namoya, a remote community high in Peru's northern Andes, where farmers spend their days attending to their potato crops under the bright blue sky. People here used to rely on candles for a bit of light after dark, when temperatures can drop to near freezing. But a few months ago, solar panels were installed on their small adobe homes, providing enough electricity for a few light bulbs, a cell phone charger, a radio, and a television. The switch has brought big social and economic benefits. <laughs> President Ollanta Humala's government says the energy revolution taking place here is just the beginning. In November, the government awarded a 15-year contract to install and maintain 500,000 panels throughout the highland and the Amazon rainforest. Officials say the project is key to closing the electrification gap in Peru, where it has been too costly to expand conventional power lines despite years of strong economic growth. But completing it won't be easy. Some energy experts are already saying it is too ambitious, pointing to the difficulties of providing maintenance in communities scattered throughout Peru's vast countryside. They also say that convincing villagers that have long been distrustful of the central government to sign up for the program will take time, and this could delay its completion. In Nomora, some families were initially skeptical of solar. Some people didn't want it, because they thought it would be a sham for the community. But it was completed, and now things are very different, and they're very happy with the panels. <laughs>